another episode of Mr. Suburbia where you get to follow me, Alex, a hairy fat guy, on his inevitable journey to a most certain obesity as well as a build on this badass power stroke right here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Zone Off-Road 6 inch radius arm lift kit which I have installed on my truck. But before we get into the video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to you guys uh, because last Thursday I actually reached 500 subscribers. And I know, you know, compared to a lot of other channels, that's not a huge amount. But for me, I'm super excited because honestly, didn't know that I was even going to make it that far. Um, and it's been really great to watch my channel grow organically and just put videos out there and, and watch you guys subscribe. Um, you know, if it is your first time stopping in, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, and guys, the likes are really important on a YouTube channel. That the likes bump your video up in the uh, in the search when you search for a video. The more likes it has, the more relevant it becomes. And so the likes are just as big of a help to me as the subscriptions. I appreciate them both. So if it is your first time stopping by, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Anyway. <clears throat> Anyway, to the lift kit. So recently I have installed a zone off-road six inch radius arm lift kit on my truck. Now that was supposed to be a huge surprise modification that I did to the truck. These airplanes, I know they're killing the audio. But uh, it was not, I actually uh, installed the lift kit then I had a bunch of problems with my turbo and rebuilt the turbo and that was my last video was of the turbo and how to replace a turbo or rebuild and refix a turbo on your truck for pretty cheap if you haven't checked out that video go ahead and give it a, a go ahead and check it out and don't forget to uh give that one a big thumbs up as well back, back to the build here we go on my truck i went with a zone off-road six inch radius arm lift kit and i keep saying that but a lot of these lift kits, whether it's from Rough Country, Fabtech, uh, Zone, um, you know, or anybody else, a lot of them come with drop down brackets where you utilize the exact same radius arms, your stock radius arms. And these, this kit here, as well as other kits, but Zone is actually one of the better priced, um, built in America, has a good warranty, I believe lifetime warranty on their parts, one of the better kits. Um, and and this one actually came it uses the stock mounting brackets for the radius arms and the kit includes some newer bigger um, box steel radius arms they're real beefy they're real sturdy they're real thick metal uh, they seem like they're excellent quality and to me that was important for me um, it, it felt like it was the right thing to do when lifting the truck a lot of guys say that the stock brackets are fine but to me if you uh if you have to drop down you're just adding another point here um instead of having the uh, radius arm connects directly to the frame via this bracket you're adding another drop down bracket so it's connected here then it'll be connected down here and shooting straight across so not only does it it add an extra point of contact up here that's unnecessary it also drops this whole system down which i think would look ugly and i like this one here because i'm lifting my truck and i want clearance underneath i don't want to have this drop down super low uh, you know as i climb over something an obstacle or whatever a rock i want it to be able to clear underneath my truck the next thing this kit came with was all four brand new zone shocks i don't know if these zone shocks are just fabtech shocks that they painted or Bilstein's or whatever, but it came with brand new, uh, larger shocks, the new coils. I went ahead and had them also replace my tie rod ends, uh, just because those were getting pretty worn out. But this also came with some brackets to drop down your steering, a new steering stabilizer here, uh, that shock, and then as well as some of the brake line um, mounting hardware, it came with some, some brackets to drop all that down, which you can see. right here it's just a little bracket it drops this stuff down just so it comes down further uh, and allows you to mount up your system so that pretty much sums up the front suspension lift kit uh, for the zone off-road six inch lift 
Okay, so for the rear here, what you can see they did is obviously they replaced both the shocks. Um, they took out the helper spring that the Super Duties have, and I'll, I'll get up there and get a better angle of that. And then they, you can see they took out the stock block that came on the truck for the 350 FX4 edition, and they put in this new block with a little bump stop arm over there, and then they flipped the U joints over. So now the U joints are, you know, flipped around. Comes with that flip, flip kit, as Zone calls it. But where you used to have your um, Super Duty helper spring and the bump stops here, you can see that is now gone. And these little brackets uh, came with the kit to replace that and keep the springs nice and packed. So the rear end lift was actually pretty easy. I probably could have done that install by myself, but I didn't. And the reason I didn't do this install by myself, guys, is just because I don't have enough equipment at my house to jack up the truck and then high enough to jack up the wheels and axle and everything else underneath it and be able to form the lift kit in a proper way all right guys and i apologize for the wind i know i know i've uh, talked about this maybe a couple times and some of you guys have have commented on videos about my audio um and i am working on getting a mic system for the camera so i have heard your complaints and i'm going to fix it okay want to throw that out there before you start hating on me because this wind is getting the mic and it's making me sound like shit i am working on a solution to that problem so anyway back to the truck let's talk about the wheels and tires on this bad boy for my wheels i went with these raceline 930 dms and they are a 20 inch by 12 inch wheel with a negative 44 offset it doesn't kick him out as much as I was hoping. I was hoping for a little bit more of an outward stance. These wheels, these same wheels and tires set up on a Duramax or maybe even a Dodge Ram, I think stick out just a little bit further. But it still does provide a pretty nice stance on the truck in my opinion. I mean, they, they come out, they stick out maybe about six inches in total from the body. Um, and I was considering going with a 20 by 14 inch ride, wide rim on some 1350 tires, um, but the cost was substantially more as well as the stress to the ball joints. Um, it was just, it, it ended up not being the option I chose, obviously. So these 930 DMs, are pretty sweet they come in either the black spoked or the dm which is a tint and it's got like a bronze tint to it which i i do like and then for the tires here i went with 37 inch 1250 um open country rough terrain tires now these are between their all-terrain tires and their mud terrain tires i went with the rough terrain because the tread is slightly more similar to the all-terrain tires which makes them a little bit better for the street use uh, than the mud trains and i'm hoping that they last a little bit longer than the mud train because of this tread pattern on the tire all in all those tires were pretty expensive definitely one of the pricier options in tires for me um, but they are an excellent tire uh, toyo makes a really good tire excellent uh, sidewalls on the tire and all in all I'm really pleased with the wheels and tires that I have on the truck and who knows I mean I could end up swapping them out but if I build this truck the way I want to with the wrap I want to put on here those tinted rims are going to look sweet with that wrap um, they don't look as sweet right now as as I would like them to um, although there is still a very nice looking set of wheels and tires on this truck rubbing issues with the 37 inch tires and the six inch lift a lot of you guys have asked me about that in comments on my last video um and also it's a huge question when you're lifting your your truck what size inch lift um can work with what tires and you know it's a pretty big pretty big thing to think about because um, you can get rubbing. I know some people are saying you can put the 37 inches on a 5 inch lift or a 4 inch lift 
and I would not recommend that because even on the six inch lift, I had a ton of rubbing right there, as well as up front. The front was super easy to trim up here, and I have a lot of cleanup to do, um, and still more trimming on this back side here. This is just some foam, but I get a lot of rubbing here. I still rub at floor t uh, full turn, and when the suspension articulates, it catches right here. So all I'm gonna do is take and trim this piece and probably come straight down here, just like that. And that'll alleviate my rubbing and it'll take a Dremel and clean up all these edges. I'm gonna get some different foam to get packed up in here and maybe find a way to close this off. I'm not sure. This little gap right here. That's a little gap right here, a little hole into the body. On the back, there was absolutely no rubbing. Um, now, you can go with an eight inch lift or a seven inch lift maybe. I don't, I'm not sure if they make a seven, but if you were to go with an eight inch lift and 37s, I doubt you would have any rubbing, but you would have a much larger gap in your wheel well. So if you're not afraid to trim your truck, this will work. Um, my buddy has a 2010, f350 with an 8 inch lift and 37 or no so i'm sorry 38 inch um open country mud trains on his truck he also has a 20 by 12 with a negative 44 millimeter offset and he has the exact same rubbing issue that i have so even if you go um two inches bigger on the lift and one inches larger on the tire you're still going to have the rubbing it's about the same ratio his truck looks pretty similar to mine it's just slightly larger as far as the height of the truck goes now i'm slightly uphill from the truck right now but you can see that standing here i am about head level and especially when i'm on my driveway the truck's on a slope and it's not working on my favor i'm about head level with the grill of my truck so that does make it a little bit tougher to get in and work on your truck whatever you're doing you have to get a step ladder pretty much no matter what even if you wanted to check the oil you're almost always breaking out a step ladder or you're standing on your tire which is kind of nice you can stand on your tire and get up into your truck now i did take off the running boards on my truck um huge upgrade in looks in my opinion i love the look i love the look of a clean underside of a truck as you can see here just way cleaned up from how it was before if you want to see pictures of my truck with the running boards check out my instagram yeah i have an instagram account i don't know if you guys knew that i do have an instagram account um it is here but check it out give me a follow you'll get sneak peeks of videos that i'm putting out um it's a lot easier for me to post a picture on instagram than it is for me to get on youtube and post a, a video so when i'm busy and working and not having time to film at least i'm trying to keep my instagram going so you guys will get updates on me and the truck on instagram so give it a give it a follow if you have instagram um if you just have facebook get with the times man come on now now as far as like i was saying with the running boards i uh I took them off because the truck looks a lot cleaner and as you can see here my head comes again right to the window of the truck and it does make getting up inside the truck a little bit more difficult as you have to hop up in here i have to put my hand here put my hand here or grab onto the oh shit handle and then jump up into my truck so it is a little bit of a hassle but that's the price you pay when you have a lifted truck now there are the automatic flip down um, running boards, which are extremely expensive. And maybe one day I'll get a set of those, but definitely not right now, definitely not anytime soon. As I, I think they're upwards of $3,000. And if I'm gonna spend $3,000 on my truck, I'll be getting new injectors and a fast system for the fuel. That's gonna be the next upgrade I would like to do to the engine. All right, so anyway, drivability on this lift kit on the road is spectacular these tires do not produce that much road noise at all um, no matter what speed you are on the highway with the windows up you cannot hear any road noise from the tires there's not a hum if you have all the windows down around 40 45 miles per hour you can hear a little bit of a hum but definitely not too loud um, i am really really happy with that and that's the other reason i went with a less aggressive than a mud train tire because i i hate being in the truck and hearing that humming 
um, I, I imagine it would get super annoying at, over time. So really impressed with that. Overall, the you know a lot of people think that when lifting a truck, you're gonna stiffen the suspension and it's gonna ride ride like ass. This truck rides phenomenal um, with the suspension lift that I have on here. I'd say it rides almost better than it did when it was stock. So it's not stiffer at all, not too much softer, but a really nice solid feeling truck. Um, rides better than stock. So all in all, extremely pleased with the suspension lift that I put on here. And if you're looking at a zone, or if you're looking to lift your truck, I definitely recommend zone off-road suspension kits. Um, and this isn't paid, this is just me. I did a ton of research on the lift kits before I bought them. And um, you know, it's just what I recommend for the power strokes. You know, that's just my own opinion. I did a ton of research before I bought these and for the price and reliability, I felt zone was a good choice for me. And overall, I am extremely happy with this product. Well guys, that is going to wrap it up for me today on my Zone Off-Road Suspension Lift Kit Review. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and if it is your first time stopping by, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.